Good afternoon, good morning. Yes, it's me. Boo. <laughs> right, people, I've just got a quick video clip to show you. It does relate to our case. Um, and it relates to the BBC as pros uh, propagandists. And they are related or, or, or part of the cabal. Um, the cabal is being di dismantled without any doubts whatsoever. There's some other things going on and there's some big news coming out tomorrow, not with relation to the case, but it may be. Um, but more some other things from the US firing over to us. And then next week, you're going to see a lot of it coming out. Uh, everything uh, leading up to uh, President Trump on the 18th and his relaunch 2020 bid. Uh, I can't believe it's gone that quick. Um, but uh, you need to know that the BBC yeah, are suppressing this case. I know you all know this, but I want you to listen to this conversation. Just listen to this interview because it's really important. So what I'm going to do is share it. Touch, you can see it up on the screen and you can see what it's about. So what is it about? The answer is Pilger, John Pilger. BBC is one of the most refined propaganda machines in the world. Now I'm going to play this, step back, you listen to it, but listen to the key words including suppression. BBC Grundy mean? The BBC is, has the most brilliant production values. It produces the most extraordinary natural history and drama series. But the BBC is and has long been the most refined propaganda service in the world. I find the double standards, these um, bogus attacks on RT, uh, if you compared with the, the, uh, uh, the BBC's record of suppression, um, I remember calculating during the Irish War something like 48 major BBC programs, either uh, banned, doctored, or delayed. But around the BBC there's the sort of cult that if you enter the BBC you immediately rise to a nirvana of, of impartiality and there are two sides to everything. That's nonsense to begin with but the BBC is an extension of the established order in this country. I don't think that's even controversial. It just is. It does some very fine work but it just is and for it to claim that it isn't and others are really uh, subverting the British state by giving another view is just absurd. So there you go, people. Um, what I'm going to do is go back to my screen. So he said a number of things there. One, the suppression by the BBC. We all know that our case is being suppressed. Two, he said it's an extension of uh, the British state, which it is. But three, most importantly, to the people following this, there's been a number of people said, you know, well, when the case gets a court date, uh, you know, then we'll get the publicity. You, you're missing a key point here, yeah? One, the government is using our tax money to defend this case. They have employed and deployed Sir James Eady QC, a £1 million fee QC, external from the government, so they've outsourced it from their 3,000 lawyers that they've already got directly employed, and they're using that as a method to run us out of money, right? It's clear for everyone to see. The Gina Miller case was wall-to-wall -wall before they even put the paperwork in. And, you, and you're telling me there's nothing going on. This is to some people, right? So the answer, really, is that the BBC does need to be squared. It, you know, Gerard Batten has said, um, scrap the TV licence. Well, you need to scrap the BBC because you can never get it back. That's the, their, their whole indoctrination is and always has been propaganda. And people have been lulled 
into this full sense of security by the BBC. You don't know what's going on in the big wide world. Some of us can see it. Some of us research it. Some of us know. And we're the ones being silenced. So I just want you to know um, what John Pilger said. You've seen it. You understand what's going on. Suppression, extension of the state, etc. Right? That's all I'm saying to you. Don't forget what I believe in. The Constitution is the solution. Thank you very much.